For my Hello Spring insert, I'm going to do a mix of two colors that scream spring to me, which are yellow and pink. So I'm gonna take my foam brush and I'm gonna do the yellow first. Um, just paint about half of the circle. Just eyeball it, it doesn't have to be exact. And then I'm actually gonna go a little bit more than half. Then I'm going to take the same foam brush. I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit. I just put it in other paint that I used for a different project. So we'll see how that works out. Then the same foam brush I'm gonna dip into the pink I'm gonna wipe off most of it down here, and then I'm going to start going up so that I'm halfway into the circle. I'm just doing two really light coats so that it can dry fairly quickly. Then you're gonna take a wet paper towel while this is still wet and very, very softly, like I'm barely touching it, just kind of dampen down that harsh line. It'll make it easier when we're trying to blend it a little bit later. You can either use a baby wipe or a wet paper towel. It doesn't really matter, whatever you have on hand. So while I wait for this to dry, I'm gonna go and rinse out my foam brush. Just rinse it in the sink, make sure you don't leave any paint residue, and then get a paper towel and kind of squeeze it a little bit. It can still be damp. That's not gonna be a problem at all, but you don't want it um, dripping wet. So go do that while you wait for this to dry. So mine is mostly dry. Wait till yours is completely dry, then get your sandpaper and do a really light sand over the whole thing, just to make it nice and smooth. Then get your sandpaper and kind of do a very light circle right on that line. It's just gonna help blend that. So if that's the color that you like, then you're good. If you want it more vibrant, then we can do one more coat. So what it's gonna kind of look like is that. Or however <laughs> you feel like turning it. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. But I will try one more coat just to see, so you can see the difference in the vibrancy. So. Let's repeat. This is my damp brush. I'm gonna start with the yellow. I really like more of the muted colors like pastel. So if you're the same, then your one coat is just fine. But just in case. We're gonna go a little bit, oops, a little bit more than halfway again. And as you can see, I'm not putting a whole bunch of paint on my brush. Slow and steady. And kind of wipe off your brush on your plate and get your pink. Start down here and blend upwards. I think you can see that 
until you're about halfway. Then get your baby wipe or your paper towel, get a clean corner of it, and then very, very softly blend out that, that line. Oh, Charlie. He heard his dad come in the house, so he wants to go out. It looks like I'm wiping it a lot. It's because I'm barely <laughs> touching the paint and just going back and forth to help blend that. And I want to go up into the pink, but then also down into the yellow. So it kind of helps mask that. And then we're going to wait for it to dry and go ahead and sand it one more time. And once it's finally dry, I just went ahead and took my wet towelette and very, very softly went over that middle piece again, or the middle line, I guess I should say. It's not a piece. Again, I'm like barely touching it because I don't want to wipe the paint off. I just want to blend it. Then find a clean piece of your sandpaper. Mine go through a few projects. And very, very lightly, I would sand the whole thing really quickly just to, a chance, just to keep it nice and smooth. And then very lightly, very lightly, circle over that middle piece again. And you can see that, especially the pink is a little bit more vibrant. And now, I feel like it's a fun little sherbet. Insert.